Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. Slide the City turned downtown Papillion into a giant water slide for the second straight year. We'll take you to this fun and unique event. Our Papillion Police Department has been hosting Police Academy for Kids each summer for nearly 20 years. One of the most popular activities is when the police canine team gives a demonstration. We'll show you how that works. Every year the SARPY Leadership Program promotes a legacy project. Find out what the newest project is. Please enjoy these stories and city happenings for the week of August 22nd. Thanks, Mayor Black. For the second year, Slide the City turned downtown Papillion into a giant water slide. It's a great event for the city of Papillion, um, bringing more people down, um, giving them something to do other than the normal events that we have. Um, a little something extra to end the summer back to school. Phillips notes that the local business group is a major help. The Downtown Business Association has been amazing uh, working with us in tandem, trying to get people down here um, and explore these downtown businesses and, and get a, a thousand foot slip and slide right in front, of, in front of them. Working with the Slide the City group makes it a great cooperative effort. We have the same crew that's back from Salt Lake City um, with Slide the City. They're doing an amazing job uh, working with downtown businesses. They are um, setting up their, their own event as well um, in tandem with this, and it's just been a fantastic, fantastic collaboration. Phillips points out that Slide the City makes Papillion unique. In Omaha, they have their Olympic Trials, College World Series. Papillion has Slide the City. Um, it's something that's amazing to bring to downtown Papillion. Um, to, to bring people, to let us let people know that we're here, um, and it's, it's great for everybody. The Police Department's summer program, Police Academy for Kids, known as PAC, has significant impact. I think it's important for kids to see police officers in a different light, uh, most importantly. Uh, and the dog is a great tool. Not only is the dog a great tool on the street when it comes to patrol situations, apprehensions, finding bad guys, and taking drugs off the street, but police service dogs are also a great tool in just connecting with kids and and uh, improving imp imp improving public relations. Goalie is a big believer in and supporter of PAC. If uh, someone has a kid who's interested in becoming a police officer, they definitely need to uh, contact the Papillion Police Department and uh, get signed up for Summer PAC. The SARPY Leadership Program produces a legacy project. The newest project takes an idea that city fathers came up with in the late 1800s. They found saplings along the Papio Creek that could be replanted. When you look at the city park today and you see those really large trees, those were actually selected for us by our forebears, by those who started this community, kept the community going, and also cared about the aesthetic beauty of the community. City Park was designated as a green space right from the very beginning of Papillion. And so in the spirit of our heritage, we're bringing forth a project that we anticipate will bring added um, aesthetic beauty to an already beautiful area that can serve as a place of inspiration, enjoyment, recreation, uh, community, uh, a place where uh, people who, who have a variety of hobbies can come out and, and be inspired here. The Papillion Blossom Project wants to emulate what the cherry blossoms do for Washington, D.C. The project will add trees to the Prairie Queen Recreation Area, hoping to draw people from all over for many activities. We anticipate that the same kind of thing can happen here. Why not in Papillion? It can happen here. We've got a tree board that cares very much about the sustainability of the, the trees, and so they're helping us to uh, guide the community as we, as we reach out to, to make the community aware of the, of the ability to become a part, how you can help to fund the planting of trees, how you could help to be a part of um, joining us in fundraising to plant more trees. Uh, they, they have chosen a selection of trees that they know are hardy in the area that will give us a beautiful bloom time and a variety of color. So if you can imagine this area surrounded with beautiful blossoms in the springtime and how that will draw the public from 
not just Papillion, but the surrounding area to come here and enjoy life with us. Residents are encouraged to stay up to date with the project. We will be putting together some information for the community, a website, Facebook page to keep you informed as to how you can be a part. The City of Papillion has already got a program in place where you can memorialize a family member uh, per, by purchasing a tree and having it planted. Um, I believe they keep track of where the trees are planted for you so that in the future you can come back and visit that tree. We want to thank everyone who made Slide the City a success. This is a fun event and we're happy to have had the great gala in our city. We also want to thank you for last week's Twilight Criterium. That was the 10th year for the incredible event. Stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.